guys! Today I have an unboxing video for you. I recently placed an order from Nordstrom, Brandy Melville and Everlane and also I think I got something from therealreal.com and I had it all sent to my US postal address and I also combined it with a couple of things that my girlfriend wanted to get and got it all sent over here and now I have this enormous box so I thought I'd open it up on camera and share with you kind of my first impressions. I bought quite a lot of basic pieces and I also wanted to pick up a few more of the Clinique Cheek Pop blushes so I'm going to open this up and start showing you guys what I picked up. So the first thing in here is all of the forms, which I'm obviously going to probably throw away since I can't actually return anything. It's one of the downsides of using mail forwarding. But the first thing that I see is from Lorac and is the Pro Contour Palette. And it actually comes with a brush, which I didn't even know, which is quite cool. I've been wanting this for quite a while. I've seen it all over YouTube and I thought, even though I don't actually contour that much. So I'm just gonna pull it all out. All right, so this is what the outside of the palette looks like. And it comes with a little slip. And then these are all of the shades. So obviously you've kind of got this shade here which looks a little bit warmer, which could be used as a bit of an all over bronzer. And then this one here looks a lot more ashy, so that'd be a great contour shade. And then obviously got a few kind of highlights and powders for underneath the eyes so I'm really really looking forward to testing this one out and then the contour brush that it comes with this is really cool I wasn't expecting this at all is like this it is a black brush and it has feels like synthetic fibers it's really soft so yeah I'll give that a go with the contour kit and I'll let you guys know how I got on if I really like it it might end up for one of my favorites videos then the next things I can see in here are from Brandy Melville. Now, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I love my Acne Studios linen t-shirt. It is one of my favorite things, but it is quite expensive and we have so many things to save for. It's not really something that's quite within my budget this year, so I thought I would pick some up from Brandy Melville because I saw that they had some that looked very, very similar. Now, this is the gray one, and obviously I've already got a gray tee. It's really, really short. I wasn't expecting it to be quite so short. And the fabric doesn't feel like any linen fabric I've ever felt before. So on the website, it says that these are 100% linen. It's, it feels a little bit like a top I bought from Forever 21 years and years and years ago. So I don't know, but for 24 US dollars, I did think that this was quite an affordable option. And I also, because I can never stop at one, I picked it up in the white as well. So. So if this comes off a little bit overexposed on camera, and what I'm going to do is I'll actually try these on so you guys can see how they look. But I get the feeling this is going to be super short. Will be good for summer, I guess. Really good for our holiday. Then I also decided to place an order from Everlane. Oh, I've still got some more makeup bits in here. I'll do them after I do the Everlane stuff. So I really wanted to pick up some basics. And one of the first things I picked up was this muscle tank in the size extra small. So I find that everything I purchased from Everlane actually is quite oversized. And I've come to the conclusion that I really do need to size down. The silk blouses are probably the only exception that I've found that my normal sizing, size small, is what fits me perfectly. So yeah, I picked this up in the extra small and it looks like it's gonna be the perfect size for me. I like the feel of this cotton. It feels quite sturdy and durable and it doesn't look like it's going to be really sheer, which was one of the things that kind of concerned me with the Ryan muscle tank that I've got, which kind of goes over the shoulders and you will have seen in a lot of my previous videos. One thing that I really wanted to do was actually an updated Everlane review, so kind of talking about some of the things that I've already purchased in the past and also doing a bit of a review on some of the new things that I picked up. There are two more things I want to get before I do that video, so let me know if that is something you want to see because I know quite a few of you have purchased from Everlane. Then the next thing I got was one of their Pima stretch cotton tanks. And again, I picked this up in the extra small because I wanted this to be really, really fitted and I'm hoping it looks like it's going to be just the right size. This actually looks to be quite thin material. So I'm not really sure how this is going to get on with my bras as it looks like it is going to be sheer to the point where you're gonna be able to see the lines and contours of everything that is worn underneath but I'll report back on how I get on with this. 
Then the last thing that I picked up from Everlane is this long sleeve striped top. Now, I've been wanting one of these since they launched these Breton striped tops. I love stripes, as you guys probably already know, and I just thought this would be a great addition to my collection. I love the fact that it is gray and white, and I've had a few questions from someone who had a much darker skin tone to me, who had asked what kind of stripes would be good for her, and I think Gray and white would be a great place to start. It's probably a lot less severe than wearing something that's black and white. And navy and white's probably also a good option too. So I picked this up in the extra small as well. And this looks enormous. Don't know if you can tell, but it looks huge. Really, really looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be a great addition to my wardrobe for the upcoming winter as well. So the reason why I placed this order from Nordstrom is because, as I mentioned before, I really wanted to pick up a couple more of the Clinique Cheek Pops because I think that they are amazing. So I grabbed two more shades and I got Ginger Pop and Melon Pop. I'm just going to pull them out. So this first one is Ginger Pop and oh, this looks really pretty. This is like a orangey toned nude. I think this is going to be really pretty for every day. It looks quite natural. I think it's going to look good. So liking that. They kind of seem to look a bit different in person than when you look at them on the website. So, oh, and this one looks really pretty too. This is just a really pretty matte peach shade. So I think that's going to be gorgeous for when I'm traveling around Europe and America. Next, I thought I would get something from MAC because I kind of can't help myself. So I grabbed a Pro Longwear Lip Pencil and the box has kind of got a little bit squished and trans fit. But I am not the biggest fan of the wooden pencils. I am wearing well on my lips today, but I really don't like the formula. It is really difficult to use. It doesn't feel creamy on the lips or anything like that, whereas the Pro Longwear Lip Pencils do. So I grabbed the shade Nice and Spicy, which is a really pretty just natural nude color. I think that this is going to be gorgeous for underneath all those everyday nude lipsticks that I wear. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting a bit of use out of this. And then the last thing that I grabbed was one of the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primers. I've been wanting to pick this up for so long and I actually think this looks like a mini size. It was about 18 US dollars, so it probably is a mini size, but I recently tried a sample of this and I was really, really impressed and I thought that this would be a great thing to have on hand for when I want my makeup to last just a little bit longer and I also think because I'm actually going to be doing my own makeup for my wedding that it would be great for that as well. And the last thing that I picked up, or at least I think it's the last thing I picked up because I'm assuming the rest of these pieces here belong to my girlfriend was from the real real.com now i already have this item it's a skirt from t by alexander wang and i've got it in the black and i'd actually originally wanted it in this color which is a kind of a heather gray it looks like this and i love the fact that because it is gray you can see a little bit more of the paneling detail on the front and then on the back it's just got two little poppers and a zip up closure and it also has this cute little kind of peplum frill which is very, very subtle. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting a bit of wear out of this for winter. I think it's gonna be great. And it's just really good quality. It's kind of like a wool flannelette. It's really beautiful. And I'm just so happy with my black one that I figured I might as well grab this. And when I saw it, it was a really good price as well. So very, very happy with that. So that was everything that I picked up. I did buy everything over about a two to three month period. So this has been a long time in the making. If you guys are wondering how I actually use mail forwarding to buy Everlane, because as you know, it's not actually a brand that ships worldwide. I use a mail forwarding service called Ship It To, and I will include links to the website down below. I pay about 50 US dollars a year so that I can have a more premium subscription, I think, and it allows me to actually consolidate parcels. So I can buy things from a number of different retail stores, consolidate them, and then have them shipped to me, which is really great. And it was actually how I'd purchased from Madewell in the past, and I've also used it to buy from Air, and I think from the Outnet US just to save myself some really exorbitant shipping fees. So I quite often will use it so that I can parcel everything together and then just get it all shipped over at once. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe if you're new and you would like to see more from me. Give it a like if you did enjoy it and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.